Hi all, very very happy afternoon to all the students who are watching this video. Before I start the class, my sincere request to please comment in the live chat. Very very happy afternoon to all the students. Please comment in the live chat if the audio is clear. Is there any issue with the audio? Is there any issue with the video? Kindly comment in the live chat before I start today's class. We have discussed already four sessions of time and work. Session one is completed on time and work. Beautiful questions we have taken. Session two, we have taken much more higher level questions. Session three also, we have taken some beautiful questions. Session four, we have taken, we have only solved questions on alternate days in session four. And today I will be taking session five. Session 5 on this beautiful topic on time and work wherein in this time and work we will solve some miscellaneous kind of questions some questions which are not related to any kind of topic like only alternate days or only efficiency based or something like that it's a mixture of many many combinations of many problems is what we are going to discuss miscellaneous varieties is what we are going to discuss in today's class. I hope I am making sense for all the students. My sincere request, Damodar has commented as a nice sir. I request other people also just to comment in the live chat if the audio is clear or not. We will see some extraordinary shortcuts in time and work. But having said that, as I, as I was telling you in my previous classes, we generally do not use variable method to solve questions on time and work we use a very very beautiful to topic or concept of lcm method to solve problems on time and work but having said that some of the questions it is always advisable to solve it by variable method itself why is that because you will actually solve the questions little faster compared to other method by assumption method if you assume it you will probably end up taking more time so in those cases we will solve the questions in variable method itself that we will discuss in today's class so i think many people are not at all commenting even after saying three times so we'll start the class that's okay i believe that the audio is clear in the middle of the problem if there is any audio issues i cannot help immediately so that's the reason i'm repeatedly asking you people if there is any audio issues please comment in the live chat Question. Now see here. Question says, three men and five women together can finish a job in three days. That means three men and five women, three men and five women, they will work for three days, right? They will work for three days. So this is number of, this is nothing but the number of people who are working. Three is nothing but the days. This entire thing will lead to the completion of the work, right? This will lead to the completion of the work. That's the first statement. Now, second statement says, working on the same job. The job is the same still. The task is absolutely the same now also. Three women take five days more than the time required by two men. That means, whatever the two men are taking how many hour days two men are taking three women are taking five days more than two men who are working to complete the same task right so this kind of problem we generally do not apply the traditional method or the method what we have solved in all our problem by using lcm concept it's very difficult in this case so generally we go by what do you say like variable kind of method itself which is also a good method for this kind of problem we have seen multiple questions where 95 percentage of questions we can solve without using variables in our time and work few problems we will also solve by using variables i will also tell you method two for this but having said that we will also solve it by using variables now suppose if these two men are taking x days to complete the task for example if these two men are taking x days to complete the task according to the question three women will take five days more than whatever the time taken by two men so if two men are taking x days 
then three women will take five days more than x so it is x plus five now if i use the same logic whatever i wrote here suppose if i call it as equation one so can i say that so this is nothing but the people so people is nothing but 2m in this case and this is nothing but the days days they are taking is x days and this will lead to the completion of the work right this will lead to the completion of the work similarly this is nothing but people in this equation people is nothing but three women right this is not men once again this is women right there is a mistake i have done here this is three women as per the question now and these three women are taking how many days x plus five days and this will also lead to the completion of the work right this will also lead to the completion of the work now can i say that if i equate it right hand side of equation one is work right hand side of equation two and three are also works so i can equate the left hand side very very easily if i equate the left hand side it's so simple can i say that if i take the left hand side of equation one it is 3 into 3m plus 5w or let me write everything in one single line so second equation left hand side is it is 2m into x third equation is it is 3w into x plus 5 right 3w into x plus 5 if i combine or if i equate these two 3 will get cancelled 3 will get cancelled so this will be 3m plus 5w is equal to wx plus 5w right wx plus 5w 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 will also get cancelled and you will be left with 3m is equal to wx so m by w m by w is equal to how much x divided by 3 right we got the ratio of m and w what is the main question basically what is the ratio of efficiency of men to that of women that is what we have got but unfortunately we did not get a numerical value we got some value in terms of variables so we don't know exactly what is m is to w at this point now what is the second thing that i will do that is the reason we don't know exactly i will equate these two also that means 2mx 2mx is equal to 3w into x plus 5 right is equal to 3w into x plus 5 now if i substitute and simplify this so this becomes 2mx is equal to 3wx 3wx plus so okay so i can say that so yes 3wx plus 3w into 5 it is 15w right it is 15w so further if i simplify we know that m by w value is equal to x by 3 right we know that m by w value is equal to x by 3 here also make it as m by w so m by w from this can be written as so you can actually you don't need to expand this in fact so m by w is equal to 3 into x plus 5 divided by 2 divided by x right 2 divided by x that is what i got m by w now you have one equation of m by w here you have another equation of m by w as x by 3 substitute x by 3 is equal to 3 into x plus 5 divided by 2x if i further simplify this becomes 2x square is equal to 3 into 3 is 9x it is 9x plus 3 into 3 9 9 into 5 is 45 it is 45 so you got a quadratic equation basically 2x square minus 9x minus 45 is equal to 0 and i am sure that you know how to simplify this quadratic equation when you simplify you will get two values x is equal to 6 by 2 x is equal to 15 by 2 but 6 by 2 is actually not 6 by 2 it will be minus 6 by 2 if you want you can check it out but you cannot have x value negative because what is x x is nothing but the number of days can the number of days be negative no the number of days can never be negative so you can ignore that x value as minus 6 by 2 ultimately x value is 15 by 2 so m divided by w is given as x by 3 substitute back m divided by w is x divided by 3 x is nothing but 15 by 2 whole thing divided by 3 3 into 1 3 into 5 so final answer for this question is it is 5 is to 2 right it is 5 is to 2 but only issue with this question is there is a lot of simplification which is involved you can see it i have taken two screens entirely to solve this question because this involves a lot of simplification to be solved right so that is the reason generally we do not use variable method but in few problems we actually cannot escape by using variable method we need to apply variable method itself to solve some of the questions which we will take it in today's class we will understand what are the kind of questions we will understand to 
used for variable method and we have seen some excellent different varieties of questions in our previous four sessions where we have never ever used any fractions or variables to solve the problems right today is one such class where we will use some of the problems with fractions and variables but having said that i have still called this method as method one because i will also teach you method two you decide which method to go for method two is not a variable method but method two can be solved by answer options right method two can be solved by using answer options now listen to this very very carefully i know that my correct answer is 5 is to 2 for this question i know that 5 is to 2 is the correct answer which is option b and i also know that i need to check one by one option a option b option c option d like that i need to check but i do not want to waste time i will directly jump jump on to correct option and show you how you can cross check by using answer options rather than using method one by variable right now see here suppose i will assume that i will assume that m is to w is equal to 5 is to 2 now if i assume second option is the correct answer according to the assumption the ratio or the efficiency of men is 5 units per day efficiency of women is 2 units per day now can i say that it is given that it is given that total work is nothing but 3 into 3m plus 5w right 3m plus 5w this will give me the total work but let me find out that value 3 into 3m m value is 5 units per day plus 5 into w is 2 and if i simplify this 15 plus 10 is 25 25 into 3 is 75 that means total work that needs to be completed is how much it is 75 chocolates it is 75 units of work that actually need to be done now can i say that it is given that how much ever days 2m men are two men are taking three women will take five days more than that right three women will take five days more than that now let us first calculate two men efficiency or the days one man will distribute five units per day two men will distribute 10 units per day the meaning of 10 units per day is in one day they will distribute 10 chocolates but we know that totally 75 chocolates are there so totally how many days they will take if this is the scenario 75 one day it is 10 to complete 75 it is 75 divided by 10 days or it is 7.5 days right it is 7.5 days that means two men will take 7.5 days to complete the entire work that is the question now three women three women one woman will distribute two chocolates in a day three women will distribute three into two six chocolates in a day in one day it is six to distribute 75 it is 75 divided by six so 75 is three into 25 this is three into two three cancels 25 by 2 is 12.5 now can i say that two men are taking only 7.5 days to complete the task but three women are taking 12.5 days to complete the same task that means three women are taking how many days more than 7.5 days they are taking five days more than 7.5 days and that five is itself what is given in the question it is very clearly given five days more than time required by two men so because that statement is satisfying in the question my assumption of option b is also absolutely right assumption that means you can avoid the method of method one to solve this problem by using variables and solving all these quadratic equations and other things to waste our time you can easily solve this question by also using answer options yes i do agree that if you are solving by answer options you will always start with first option check it out if first option is not satisfying then you go for the second option check it out if second is not satisfying then you go for the third option check it out and you will do on you will so on go with the same process but having said that this answer option itself will give you the faster method compared to the variable method what we have solved for this question kindly comment in the live chat kindly comment in the live chat kindly comment in the live chat 
there are some questions which we are taking in today's class which will be absolutely of this kind of things only there are some beautiful questions we are taking and these questions will take a little bit of extra understanding compared to what we have done in the last four classes we might be using some of the questions with fractions and variables so you need to understand this kind of problem solving as well kindly comment in the live chat kindly comment in the live chat next question a 7.5 cm long cigarette will burn itself in 30 minutes if no puff is taken that means there is a smoker that smoker is not at all taking any puff right he is not at all taking any puff to smoke that cigarette if that is the case that the 7. cm long the length of that cigarette is 7.5 cm that 7.5 cm long cigarette it will burn in 30 minutes if no puff is taken that means let us take the scenario of no puff initially no puff is being taken let us take the scenario of no puff now i know that the question is given as 7.5 cm but what i will do is i will assume the length of the cigarette as not 7.5 i will assume it as 750 units sir question is saying 7.5 can we just assume like that whatever we want yes you can assume it as 750 so that you will avoid decimal simplification so you will not get decimal values if you take 750 how is this sir now simple total units is or the total that needs to be completed for example instead of cigarettes i will come back to my chocolates example itself totally 750 chocolates are there and it will take 30 minutes to complete those 750 chocolates which are present in the box if no puff is taken that means totally 750 chocolates it will take 30 minutes so can i say that the efficiency is 750 divided by 30 it is 25 units per minute for every 1 minute if the puff is not taken by the smoker if the puff is not taken by the smoker for every 1 minute 25 units of cigarette is being consumed or it is completed right that's the meaning now this is a no puff scenario but read the next statement for every puff it burns three times as fast as during the duration of without puff that means if i am smoking with without puff for 1 minute i will complete 25 units but if i am smoking with puff for 1 minute i will complete how many units three times of 25 it is given that it is three times faster so three times of 25 is 75 units i hope till here it is very very clear for you people now let us read the next statement the next statement says if the cigarette burns in 23 minutes right if the cigarette burns in 23 minutes that means suppose now think logically the cigarette will not only burn when the smoker puffs without puff also the cigarette will keep on burning that means there is a cigarette that cigarette you will light it when you just keep it in your hand also it will keep burning and when you just keep it in your hand without having a puff for 1 minute it will burn 25 units and when you puff it for 1 minute it will burn 75 units that's the meaning of whatever we have learnt till now now when you are just keeping in hand without puff and when you are actually puffing the cigarette both the case together it will burn and the total time taken is 23 minutes according to the question question says how many puff has the smoker taken if his average puff lasted 7 seconds if his average puff lasted 7 seconds now can i say that suppose for example assume that the smoker has puffed for x minutes the smoker has puffed for x minute again i am using variable without using variable also we will see by answer options the smoker has puffed for x minute so if he is puffing for a minute x minute then how many minutes he is not puffing totally he is taking 23 minutes 
totally he is taking 23 minutes out of these 23 minutes to burn that cigarette x minute he is puffing out of 23 x minute he is puffing so 23 minus x minutes he is not puffing so this is without a puff right this is without puff now can i say that the sum of this plus this is totally is equal to 23 minutes now when he is puffing in one minute he will complete 75 units in x minutes he will complete 75 into x units in one minute it is 75 units in x minute it is 75 into x similarly when he is not puffing in one minute he will complete 25 units in 23 minus x minutes he will complete 25 into 23 minus x so can i say that this is without puffing consumed this is the amount of cigarette that is consumed when he is puffing this is the amount of cigarette that is consumed when he is not puffing if i take the sum of these two the sum should be equal to the total number of units of 750 right so this much of cigarette is burnt when puffed this much of cigarette is burnt when not puffed the summation is nothing but totally how much ever cigarette is present right that is 750 units so if i simplify if i simplify let me write it in one liner 75x plus 25 into 23 minus x is equal to 750 so this is 25 into 1 25 into 3 so it is 3x plus 23 minus x is equal to so 25 into 30 is 750 so further simplify 3x minus x is nothing but 2x and 30 minus 23 is 7 so x value is 7 by 2 minutes 7 by 2 is how much 7 by 2 is nothing but 3.5 what is x x is nothing but the time duration which he has puffed that means totally out of 23 minutes he has puffed for 3.5 minutes out of total 23 minutes he has puffed for 3.5 minutes remaining thing uh, remaining time he had just kept the cigarette in his hand without doing any puff right that's the meaning now what is this 7 by 2 7 by 2 minutes can be further simplified 7 by 2 minutes into seconds if i want to convert multiply by 60 so it is 2 into 30 is 60 7 into 30 is 210 seconds that means out of 23 minutes he has puffed for 210 seconds so it is given in the question that average puff lasted 7 seconds that means for one puff for one puff he will actually take 7 seconds but he has totally taken 210 seconds totally 7 into 30 is 210 1 also multiply by 30 1 into 30 is how much 30 so totally he has puffed for how many times he has totally puffed for 30 times and that itself is your question please read the last statement how many puffs has the smoker taken he has totally taken how many puffs 30 puffs which is nothing but option a now this method is actually good method i don't deny that but this i will call it as method one because i will also teach you method two by using answer options it is completely your wish to decide which method is comfortable for you to solve the problem now first option is 30 so totally he has taken 30 puffs now one puff will take seven seconds 30 puff if i assume 30 puff it will take 7 into 30 which is 210 seconds which we already found out actually 210 seconds is nothing but 3.5 minutes so totally he has puffed for 3.5 minutes or 7 by 2 minutes that is what we got as x value in method 1 so both are absolutely same now can i say that when he is puffing in puffing in one minute he will when he is actually puffing in one minute he will finish 75 units but he is puffing for 7 by 2 minutes in one minute it is 75 units for 7 by 2 minutes it is 70, 75 into 7, 7 by 2 now out of total 
ट्वेंटी थ्री मिनट था ही हेज पफड फॉर थ्री एंड हाफ मिनट था रिमेनिंग नाइनटीन एंड हाफ मिनट ही हेज नॉट पफड नाइनटीन एंड हाफ इज नथिंग बट थर्टी नाइन बै टू एंड वेन एवर ही इज नॉट पफिंग इन वन मिनट ही विल डिस्ट्रीब्यूट ट्वेंटी फाइव यूनिट था इन नाइनटीन एंड हाफ मिनट ही विल डिस्ट्रीब्यूट ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू थर्टी नाइन बै टू दिस विल कंप्लीट ऑल द सेवन फिफ्टी चॉकलेट और इट विल कंप्लीट द एंटर सिगरेट और इट विल बर्न द एंटर सिगरेट नाउ चेक इट आउट इफ यू वॉन्ट चेक इट आउट Two in the denominator in both the cases cross multiply to the right hand side. Seventy five into seven plus twenty five into thirty nine is equal to seven fifty into two. It is nothing but fifteen hundred. Now, sir, do I need to multiply those two and find the answer? Absolutely not required. Just to use the beautiful concept of digital sum. Now, for all the people who don't know digital sum concept, suppose I have a number. One small example. I have a number one two three four five. Digital sum is sum of the digits. One plus two three three plus three six six plus four ten ten plus five fifteen. I got the sum as fifteen. But is fifteen a single digit number? No, fifteen is not a single digit number. Again, add the digits of fifteen. One plus five is six. Digital sum means. Add all the digits till you get a single digit number. Now I will cross check. Seven plus five is twelve. Twelve digital sum is one plus two three. Remember three multiplied by seven. It is twenty one. Twenty one digital sum is two plus one three. So the entire digital sum for this is three plus two plus five is seven. Three plus nine is twelve. Twelve digital sum is two plus one three once again. So this is seven. This is three. Seven into three is twenty-one. Twenty-one is three once again. So left hand side digital sum is six. Right hand side digital sum should also be six. One plus five six. Six plus zero plus zero is also six. So because the digital sum in right hand side and left hand side is matching, this should be the correct answer. Answer for this question is option A. You can check out the other options. The digital sum will not match for the options which are given in this particular question. Kindly comment in the live chat. I have taken some little difficult questions, which is probably not possible to solve by using our methods what we have discussed in first four sessions. But we can as well definitely use the method of answer option to solve the questions, which I am showing it to you also. Kindly comment in the live chat. Kindly comment in the live chat. Please comment in the live chat, sir. Next question. A boy takes fifteen hours more than fifteen more hours than a man. to complete the work that means if i take one man will take x hours if a man take x hours for example then boy will take 15 hours more than man so boy will take x plus 15 hours that's the meaning of this question right that's the meaning of this question now the boy started the work for 18 hours and then the man replaced him and worked for 6 hours now there is some work needs to be completed this is the starting of the work this is the ending of the work totally it will take some days to continue the work complete the work we don't know about it but it is given that the boy worked for 18 hours so first 18 hours only boy is working and after 18 hours the boy is no more interested to work the man replaced him and worked for 6 hours man replaced that boy and this man has worked for how many hours he has worked for 6 hours so this is the question what is given till this point now after this 18 hours and 6 hours of work also is done thus 3 by 5th of the work was completed now Only three by fifth of the work was completed till this point of a time still. Three by sixth is completed. That means remaining two by fifth of the work is left over. Two by fifth is left over. Three by fifth of the work is completed. Right? Three by fifth of the work is completed. Two by fifth is left over. That's the question. What is being given now? Can I say like this? 
a man if i take the man is working alone if i think that the man is working alone to complete the entire work so he will complete one entire work in x hours to complete in one hour he will be doing one by x right he will be doing one by x but man will work only for six hours so it is for one hour it is one by x for six hours it is six by x boy for one hour he will complete one by x plus 15 but he is working for 18 hours it is 18 divided by x plus 15 but this will not lead to the entire completion of the work this will lead to only three by fifth of completion of the work so right hand side is 3 by 5 right right hand side is 3 by 5 now see here this is a very simple equation i told you that we are not habituated to equation based solving in our previous classes but this class i am teaching you equation based because this also you should be very smart in analyzing what number should i take now see here what is the question in how much time will the work be completed considering that the man continues to work that means this remaining 2 by 5th of the work which is left over right now man will only complete right man will only complete the remaining 2 by 5th of the work now can i say that this value is 5 here denominator here on the right hand side is 5 denominator here on the left hand side one of the value is 15 so x value whatever i will take x value whatever i will take it should be a multiple of 5 so i will choose that x value in such a way that i will choose that x value in such a way that it will be a multiple of 5 and it will also be a multiple of 15 if you see the answer options the best option to choose which is a multiple of 5 and 15 it is nothing but 30 so i will assume the x value as 30 i am assuming x value as 30 this is my assumption right initially it is an assumption let us check whether it will satisfy both left hand side and right hand side or not now if i assume x value as 30 6 divided by 30 is nothing but 1 by 5 plus 18 divided by 30 plus 15 is nothing but 45 right 30 plus 15 is 45 so this is 9 into 2 is 18 9 into 5 is 45 1 by 5 plus 2 by 5 it is nothing but equal to right hand side 3 by 5 that means whatever I, I, I assumed x value as 30 now it became the reality why it became the reality because my assumption became reality because left hand side is satisfying with right hand side as 3 by 5 so x value is 30 so if i remove it here so basically man will take 30 hours to complete the work if he is working alone boy will take 15 hours more than man so he will take 45 hours to complete the work if he is working alone so that's the meaning of it so can i say that man will take 30 hours to complete one entire work one entire work is completed by man in 30 hours right one one man will complete one entire work in how many hours he will complete in 30 hours but the question is not one entire work in how much time the work will be completed considering the man continues to work that means this last portion of two fifth is also done by man only to complete one work he will take 30 hours but only two by fifth of work is remaining how much time he will take one into two by five is two by five 30 also multiply by 2 by 5. 30 into 2 by 5 is 12 hours. That means the last portion is done by man in how many hours? 12 hours. But the question is asking you to find the entire value. The question is asking you to find the entire value starting from starting till the end. So it is 18 plus 6 is 24. 24 plus 12 is 36 answer for this question is 36 hours. The catch in this question is you might have got an equation but you don't need to solve that equation by taking the LCM and simplifying and getting a quadratic equation. It's absolutely waste of time. It's that you should think a little bit and try to assume a value of x and try to check whether your left hand side is satisfying with the right hand side and then proceed with problem solving. I hope the concept is very very clear for all the students who are listening to the class. Quickly comment in the live chat. These are all some questions. Some questions will be given in examination where you are forced to use variables and that is what I am trying to solve it right now also. Quickly comment in the live chat. 
if you see i have taken almost half an hour to solve only three questions till now on an average i have taken 10 minutes to explain each and every problem because i know the importance of these higher level questions now before solving the next question let me explain you a very very small concept suppose if a is taking 20 days to complete the task if b is taking 20 days to complete the task a is also taking 20 days b is also taking 20 days a plus b will take how many days to complete the task in fact answer is 10 days half of if both of them are taking equal number of days and if both are working together, then they will take half of that 20 days, which is 10 days. If you want, let us check it out. LCM of 20 and 20 is 20 itself. So this will be one unit per day. This will also be one unit per day. So both of them together will distribute two units per day. The meaning of two units per day is in one day, they will distribute two units, but totally there are 20 chocolates. Two units, it is one day. 20 days, 20 units means it is 10 days, right? 10, 20 units means it is 10 days. That means, can I say that if A is taking 20 days, B is also taking 20 days, A plus B will take half of the 20 days, which is 10 days, right? Which is 10 days. Now, why did I discuss this? Now, see here. Suppose, suppose, let us take one more scenario. Suppose A and B are there, right? A and B are there. Suppose C is also there, right? There is a person called as A and B who are working together. I am taking one more person called as C just for your better understanding. I am taking one more person called as C and I am actually trying to give you A plus B plus C scenario also. Now, suppose for example, suppose for example, A plus B plus C is taking X days to complete the task. Listen to this concept a little carefully. A plus B plus C is taking X days. Now what I will do is, I will not consider A and B as two different person. I will assume that A and B are one single person, right? A and B as one single person. Now, A and B, they are taking X days. A and B, sorry, A plus B plus C, they are taking X days and C, this person C, suppose he is taking 2x days, right? He is taking 2x days. Now, according to my above example or the above concept, whatever I told you, A and B, I am considering it as one single entity. C is taking 2x days and this person C is taking 2x days. So, if this person C is taking 2x days, these two should also take 2x days, then only 2x days and this person also 2x days, see it's something like this, A is also 20 days, B is also 20 days, together is half of 20, which is 10 days, A plus B is also 2x days, C is also 2x days, Together is A plus B plus C will be half of 2X. That is nothing but X days. That means this is also 2X days. I hope you are getting the point. So this is something like 20 days. This is also something like 20 days. Combination of all the three will be half of 20 or half of 2X, which is X days in this question. I hope this concept is very, very clear for you people. Always remember, always remember, if A plus B plus C is equal to X days and if C is double of X which is 2X days, then A plus B we should also be equal to 2X days. Sir, why are you teaching this concept? Is there any use of this concept? Absolutely yes. And now we are going to discuss one of the very, very, very important question. I think that if you are preparing for a CGL examination, CGL best question I can call this question as the best question which is asked in CGL with respect to time and work this beautiful question is what I can call now see here let us solve this question let us understand this question three men A B and C working together can do a job in six hours less than A working alone that means suppose there are three people A B and C working together and assume that all the three people working together, they will take X hours to complete the task, right? They will take X hours to complete the task. So, question says, 
Three men ABC working together can do a job in six hours less time than A working alone. That means if all three people are working, they will be taking six hours lesser than A working alone. That means if A is if A plus B plus C is X, so A will be taking six hours more than all the three working together. A will be X plus six, right? A will be X plus six hours and. In one hour less the time than B alone. So similarly, they are saying that if A, B, and C are taking only X hours, then V, B will be taking one hour more time. Or in other words, the question is actually saying A plus B plus C are taking one hour less than B working alone. Reverse is also true. B will take one hour more than A plus B plus C working together. So if A plus B plus C is X, B will be X plus one hour. I hope you are understanding. Next and in one half the time needed by C when working alone. That means if all three people A, B, and C are working together, whatever the time A, B, and C are working for, C will be taking double of that or. C will be taking double of that, or in other words, A plus B plus C will take half of the time taken by C alone to complete the work. Or if A plus B plus C is X hours, C will take double of X hours, which is two X hours, right? Which is two X hours. Now, just two minutes before the start of this problem, I explained you this beautiful concept. Suppose if I combine A plus B, if, if I combine A plus B as one single person, suppose if C is another person, then all the three people, if I assume it as X hours and C, if it is a two X hours, like the way it is given in this question, A plus B plus C is X hours, C, it will be two X hours, then A plus B will also be equal to two X hours. Just before the start of this problem, I have explained you this concept, but can I say that? Can I say that A plus B is nothing but in one to complete one task, they will take X plus six hours. So in one hour, they will be doing one divided by X plus six. So this is nothing but A plus B's contribution in one hour. Similarly, C's contribution in one hour is one divided by X plus one, right? One divided, sorry. So this is A's contribution. This is B's contribution. So can I say that? A plus B is nothing but this particular thing that is exactly equal to whatever C is doing alone in one day. That is nothing but 1 by 2x, right? That is nothing but 1 by 2x. Now, the, you can simplify by taking quadratic equation x plus 6 into x plus 1 is x square plus 6x plus 1x, 7x plus 6. Left hand side, here it is x plus 1 plus x plus 6. It is 2x plus 7. Right hand side is 1 divided by 2x. Further simplify. 2x plus 7 into 2x. It is 4x square plus 14x. x square plus 7x plus 6 into 1. It is x square plus 7x plus 6 itself. So 4x square minus x square is 3x square. 14x minus 7x is plus 7x minus 6 is equal to 0. This equation 3x square plus 7x minus 6 is equal to 0. If you simplify by using quadratic equation, you will actually get two values of x. Out of that one will be negative, only one of them I will take. So positive value I will take, which you will get it as x, by, x is equal to 2 by 3 if you simplify that, which I am not simplifying. But what is the question? Question is, find how much time will they take if A and B are working together. A and B together can do the same job in how many days. Now, we know that if A and B are working together, they can finish off the work in 2x days and x value is 2 by 3. So final answer is 2 multiplied by x is 2 by 3. 2 into 2 by 3 is 4 by 3 days or this question is not actually in days, this question is in hours. So 4 by 3 hours. I am repeatedly saying you people, this is one of the best question that you can get in SSC CGL paper. Best question I repeat. I hope the concept is clear. Kindly comment in the live chat. These are all some questions where we cannot avoid using variables, sir. You cannot just assume that A plus B plus C has 10 days. So A will be 10 plus 6, 16 days. B will be 10 plus 1, 11 days. C will be 
two times of 10, 20 days, some random numbers you cannot take and solve for these kind of questions. So you cannot actually escape from variable method. That's the reason I am trying to teach you that kind of problems also so that you will not fumble in the examination hall. Kindly comment quickly, sir. Quickly comment in the live chat. Quickly comment in the live chat. Quickly comment in the live chat. Only thing is little variables are involved, but we cannot we cannot actually do anything. Wherever there is a no possibility of variables, we will definitely solve without using variables. But wherever there is a possibility of variables, I will just tell you people. Working together, printer A and printer B would finish printing a book in 24 minutes. 24 minutes. Okay, working together. So that means A plus B together, it is given in the question as 24 minutes. Okay, that's the question. Printer A alone would finish printing the book in 60 minutes. A alone would have completed printing that book in 60 minutes. Now forget about the next statement. 24 and 60, the LCM is 120. 120 chocolate needs to be distributed. 24 into 5 is 120. So it is 5 units per minute. 60 into 2 is 120. It is 2 units per minute for A alone. Now, A alone is 2 units. A plus B together is 5. So B alone will be 5 minus 2. It is 3 units per minute. Till here, I don't think that anybody is having any doubt. Now, read the next part of the question. The next part of the question says, How many pages does the book contain? How many pages does the book contain? If printer B prints 5 pages a minute more than printer A. That means, printer B, suppose if printer B is printing, 5 pages per minute more than the printer A. How many pages that the book contain in the question? Now, can I say that we know the efficiency of A as 2 units per minute. We also know efficiency of B as 3 units per minute. The ratio is 2 is to 3, right? This is nothing but the efficiency ratio. Efficiency of A and B in the ratio is nothing but 2 is to 3. That means in one minute A can print 2 pages. In the same one minute B can print 3 pages. That means according to the ratio, A can print only 2 pages in one minute. But B can print 3 pages in one minute. According to ratio, B is printing one page more according to the ratio. According to ratio, B is printing one page more. But the, but the question says it is printing five pages more per minute. So one page more should become five pages more. One becomes five multiply by five. 2 also multiply by 5. So, A's capacity is 10 units per minute. If you want 3 also multiply by 5, 3 is nothing, B is nothing but 15 units per minute. Now, can I say that A's capacity is 10 units per minute. The meaning of 10 units per minute is in 1 minute it will print 10 units. In 1 minute it will print 10 units. But it is clearly given in the question that Printer A alone would finish printing the entire book in how many minutes? 60 minutes. So, in one minute it can print 10 pages. But if it is working alone, it will work for 60 minutes totally to complete printing the entire book. One minute 10 pages. 60 minutes it is 60 into 10 pages. Answer for this question is totally there are 600 pages which are present in the book and that is what the question is actually how many pages that the book contain in the question answer for this question is 600 next p q and r three typist work simultaneously can type 466 pages in 6 hours that means if all the three typists P, Q and R are working, it, they will work for, they will print or they will type 456 pages. For that, they will take 6 hours. 
456 by 6. It is 76 pages per hour. 76 pages per hour is the capacity or the efficiency of all the three people working together. Now, second statement. R can type as many pages in 4 hours as P in 9 hours. R can type as many pages in 4 hours. So, R is working for 4 hours and P is working for 9 hours. So, these both are absolutely same. Right? These both are absolutely same. So, can I say that efficiency ratio of R and P R divided by P is nothing but 9 divided by 4. That means if I consider 3 people P, Q and R. If I consider 3 people P, Q and R. P will actually type 4 pages per minute or per hour. In fact, R will actually type 9 pages per hour. Now, this is what we have understood till the given data, whatever we have read. Now, the most important statement is the next statement. It is slightly confusing. Please listen to it carefully. In one hour, that means this is also per hour scenario, R can type 50 percentage more pages than Q. R can type 50 percentage more pages than Q as Q can type as many more pages than P in the same time. That means how much ever Q is typing more than P in the same time. Time is absolutely same. Don't worry about time factor in this question. Time is absolutely same. Whatever Q is typing more than P, R can type 50 percentage more than Q. That is what they are saying. That means 50 percentage in fractions is nothing but 1 by 2 and more is nothing but increase. Now, can I say that R can type 50 percentage more than Q. That means if Q is typing only 2 pages, if Q is typing only 2 pages, R will be typing 1 more than 2. Right, R will be typing 1 more than 2. Now, think logically. If I take Q as 2 here, R will be typing 1 more than 2. That means R will be typing how much? R will be typing 3 units. Right, R will be typing 3. So, basically this should become 2 plus 1, 3 here. But here it is 9. Right, here it is 9. So, this 1 by 2 can also be written as 2 by 4, which can also be written as 3 by 6. What is the meaning of 3 by 6? So, if Q is typing 6, so two, uh, uh, Q typing 2 pages is ruled out, right? We did not get a proper way. So, if Q is actually typing 6 pages, then R will be typing 3 more than 6. So, what is 3 more than 6? 3 more than 6 is nothing but 9. And you can check the other way also. P, P was typing 4. Q is typing 6. That means there is an increase of 2. That means if there is an increase of 2 in P and Q scenario, there will be one more increase. That is what the question says. R can type 50 percentage more pages than Q as, as Q can type as many more pages than P at the same time. So, Q can take two, uh, type two more than P in the same time. R will be two more than, uh, sorry, one more than two. One more than two is nothing but three. So, we got the efficiencies of all the three people, P, Q and R. So, P's efficiency is four units per hour or four pages per hour typing. Q's efficiency is six pages per hour. R's efficiency is nine pages per hour. What is the question? How many pages Q can type in three hours? So, question is, in three hours, how many pages Q can type? Now, see here. So, before that, can I say that? This is according to the ratio. So, can I say that? 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 plus 9 is 19. That means, actually, according to ratio, 19 pages are typed in one hour. If all the three are working. But question says if all the three are working, 76 pages are completed in one hour. So 19 should become 76. Multiply by 4. This 6 also multiply by 4. 6 into 4 is 24 pages per hour. So Q's capacity is 24 pages per hour. In one hour he will type 24. But in the question they are asking in three hours how much will type Q type? In one hour it is 24. In three hours it is 3 into 24, 72. Answer for this question is Q can type 72 pages in 3 hours. I hope the concept is clear. 
quickly please comment in the live chat quickly please comment in the live chat I am still waiting for your comments, hoping that you people will comment. Next, two men can build a wall in 15 and 20 hours respectively. That means let us take two men as A and B. A will build a wall in 15 hours if he is working alone. B will build a wall in 20 hours if he is working alone. LCM of 15 and 20, it is nothing but 60. So 15 into 4 is 60, 20 into 3 is 60. That means A's capacity is 4 units per hour, B's capacity is 3 units per hour. That's the meaning of this as of now. Now, the question says, but if they work together, if they work together, now forget about the next statement once again. A's capacity is 4 units per hour, B's capacity is 3 units per hour. That means if they are working together, actually their capacity is 7 units per hour, 4 plus 3, right? Actually their capacity is 7 units per hour if they are working together. But the question says if they work together, they use 280 less bricks per hour and build a wall in 12 hours, right? And build a wall in 12 hours. Find the number of bricks in the wall is the question. Now see here. Can you see here? Please listen to this carefully. Now see here. Can I say that 7 units per hour is the actual capacity if both of them are working together. The meaning of 7 units per hour is in one hour they will complete seven chocolates. In one hour they will complete seven chocolates. But totally there are 60 chocolates which are there in the box. In one hour it is seven chocolates. To complete 60 chocolates, seven into eight is approximately 60, which is 56. So that means actually if they are working with their virginal efficiencies using all the bricks which are present, they would have completed the work in somewhere around eight and a half hours itself. But the question says, if they work together, they use 280 less bricks per hour and build a wall in 12 hours. That means they would have actually completed in eight and a half hours approximately if they have used all the bricks to build a wall. But unfortunately, because of some issues, they took 12 hours. To complete 60 chocolates, they took 12 hours. That means, if they are working together, 60 divided by 12 is 5 units per hour. So, actually, if they are working together, their capacity is 7 units per hour. But due to some issues, they only distributed 5 chocolates in 1 hour. That means, actual was 7 chocolates per hour. But they only distributed 5 chocolates per hour. So can I say that they have distributed 2 chocolates lesser in every 1 hour. According to the assumption, they have distributed 2 chocolates lesser in every 1 hour. But the question says, it is not 2 units less bricks which they have used. They have used 280 less bricks. 2 units less bricks is according to my assumption. Question says 280 less. 2 into 140 is 280. Find the number of bricks. According to my assumption, number of bricks is 60. 60 also multiply by 140. 16 into, sorry, 14 into 60 is 84 followed by two zeros. Answer is totally there are 8400 bricks which were present to build the wall. Beautiful way of solving the question. Kindly comment in the live chat. Om Prakash Sharma, I am absolutely sorry to say this. In my previous class, I have taken 14 to 15 questions only on alternate days. Nothing else I have taken. Only on alternate days, I have taken 14 to 15 extraordinary questions. And all the 14 to 15 questions, whatever I have taken, 
I never used any variables. I never used any fraction to solve those 14 to 15 questions. Please watch the, all those 14 questions on alternate days if you are an enrolled student. For all the students who have enrolled for our classes, I think the alternate days topic is already available. It is already uploaded for all our enrolled students. If you are an enrolled student, Om Prakash, please watch it, sir. Kindly comment in the live chat till this point. I think I have taken some seven questions till this point. Any doubt in these seven questions, please comment in the live chat. Let us wait for your comments. And just looking into the comments, please comment in the live chat. Any doubts in the first seven questions? Few of the questions we used variables. Unfortunately, there was no other go in that. So that's the reason I have used variables. Few of the questions we have solved by using our previous methods. So I believe that it is very, very clear for all the students who have listened to the class till this point. Next question. Now, this is also one more variety of question. See here. Question says, 50 cows can graze a field for 40 days and 40 cows can graze the same field for 80 days. Now, 40 cows, if there are 40 cows, they can graze the field in 80 days. 50 cows can graze the field in 40 days. That's what given in the question. Now, let me write that first statement. If there are 50 cows, Actually, it will take 40 days for these 50 cows to graze the field. That's the statement. Now, some grass is already there in the in that particular field. There is a field. Suppose, for example, this is a field. Some grass, this is these are all grasses, for example. Some grass is already there in the field, and the grass grows at a constant rate. Now, there is there are some grass already present. And the grass will also grow, right? It will grow and they will grow at the, some constant rate. We will find out what is the rate at which it, the grass will grow all those things in this question. But we understood that the field is not completely covered with grass as of now. There is some grass which is initially present and the grass still will grow and it will grow at some constant rate. For how many days? For how many days? 60 cows can graze the same field. Now, logically thinking, if you are little smart, 50 cows will take 40 days to graze the field, right? Now, question is asking how many days will 60 cows take is the question, right? How many days will 60 cows take is the question. Now, can I say that if the number of cows were 50 initially, it was taking 40 days to complete grazing the entire field. Now, the number of cows now has been increased from 50 to 60. That means there are 10 more extra people who are working for me to complete the task. So, if there are 10 more extra people who are working for me to complete the task, definitely the number of days will reduce. That means answer will be less than 40 days, right? I hope this part is very, very clear for you. Answer is definitely less than 40 days. Looking into the answer options, out of four options, 50.66 and 60.66 are straightforward eliminated. This is how you need to think. If there was third option also, which is more than 40 days, you could have directly eliminated that also and marked only one option which was less than 40 days and you would have solved the answer already. But unfortunately, there are two options right now in this question. So the probability of getting the right answer in this question for you reduced right now to 50 percentage. Now let us solve the question. Now see here, we don't know how much is the initial grass which is present. They are saying in the question, there is some grass already there. So, initial grass which is present in the question, let us take it as some x kgs, right? There are some x kgs or whatever, you can take any unit in fact, x kgs of grass is present initially and the grass grows at a constant rate. So, I will take the grass grows, 
the grass will grow in something like y kg per day it will increase so there is an increase of y kg every day for the grass so first day it will increase by y kg second day also it will increase by the same constant rate of y kg third day also it will increase by y kg fourth day also it will increase by y kg like that i am assuming now what i will do is for my easy simplification what i will do is there are three different values given one is 50 cows next is 40 cows next is 60 cows so what i will do is every cow each cow will eat will eat 1 kg of grass daily i will assume that 1 kg of grass daily sir why are you taking 1 kg only can i take some other number can i take 2 kgs can i take 0.5 kgs can i take any other decimal value absolutely yes you can take any value you end up with the same answer ultimately but why 1 kg because 1 multiplied by any other number is that particular number itself so it's easy if i take 2 kg that number should be multiplied by 2 if i take 0.5 kg that number should be multiplied by 0.5 instead of multiplying one number by some other number and getting some other different number it's easy to multiply that number by one because one one into any number is the same number ideally so i'll assume that each cow eats one kg grass per day now think little logically can i say that can i say that initially there is x grass x kgs of grass initially present and can i also say that if i take the first scenario i am talking about 50 cows can graze a field for 40 days so x kgs of grass is already present and 40 days is the given statement in the first statement in one day it will increase by y kg in 40 days it will increase by 40 into y kg so this much of grass is totally present and this much of grass is actually grazed by how many cows 50 cows so 50 cows every cow will be 1 kg that is the reason i took it as one if it was 2 kg you should have multiplied 50 by 2 it's a waste of time so 50 cows one cow will eat 1 kg 50 cows will eat 50 into 1 kg and and they are eating for how many days they are eating for 40 days so left hand side is nothing but total grass which is present in the field right hand side is nothing but total grass which is eaten by all those 50 cows so both are absolutely same so that's the first equation second equation so they are saying that 40 cows can graze the same field for 80 days that means initially it was x kgs of grass present and for one day there is an increase of y kg for 80 days there is an increase of 80 into y kgs and right hand side 40 cows are grazing actually for one cow will eat 1 kg 40 cows will eat 40 into 1 kg and they are eating for how many days 80 days so this is nothing but equation 2 now equation 1 equation 2 if i simplify left hand side and right hand side if i subtract so this will be x minus x will cancel 80y minus 40y will be 40y and right hand side if i simplify this will you will get it as 50 into 40 is 2000 40 into 80 is 3200 subtraction is 1200 so y value is nothing but 1200 by 40 which is 30 that means can i say that y value is 30 let me use a different color right now y value 30 means in this place you are getting 30 kgs per day that means the grass is every day growing at a constant rate of 30 kgs per day every day it is increasing by 30 kgs that's the meaning of this y value now we got y value substitute y value in the first equation or the second equation you will get x value and i am sure that you know how to simplify that if you do that you will get x value as 800 so x is nothing but initial kg so initial grass which was present is 800 but in the question they are not asking you how much was the initial grass in the question they are not even asking you how much is the constant rate at which the grass is growing but the question says for how many days can 60 cows graze the same field now let us go to the next screen initially it was 800 grass present which we calculated x value 800 and can i say that for how many days can 60 cows graze the same field so if i take it as 
60 cows graze the same field. So, this will be observed here. In one day, it will increase by 30 kgs. In one day, it will increase by 30 kgs. But in the question, they are asking how many days. I don't know how many days. I will keep it as k days. One day, it is increased by 30 kgs. Grass is increased by 30 kgs in one day. In k days, it is increased by 30 into k kgs. So, this entire thing is the total amount of grass which is present in the field. And the total amount of grass should be eaten by how many cows? It should be eaten by 60 cows. One cow will eat 1 kg. 60 cows will eat 60 into 1 kg. And it is eating for k days. So, multiply by k. If you observe, 800 is equal to 60k minus 30k is 30k. So, k value will be 80 divided by 3 days. 80 divided by 3 is nothing but 26.66 days. Option is not option A, option is option D. These are some questions wherein you should definitely use the concept of variables without which it will be slightly difficult to assume some values and eventually get the right answer. It's slightly difficult. So the best way to solve these questions is by using variables itself. Kindly comment in the live chat. Kindly comment in the live chat. I am taking some other varieties of questions today. Although it involves variables, I do not want you people to fumble in the examination hall thinking how to solve that kind of questions. That is the reason I am taking those questions right now itself so that you will also realize that some of the questions for sure you should use variables. There is no other way to solve those questions. Quickly comment in the live chat, sir. HT Cancer says it is very nice. Only HT Cancer is replying what about other people? Are you people not interested in the class? Kindly comment others also. There are some 10 students who are listening. That's absolutely fine. See, it's very simple, sir. I am not bothered about how many are listening. I am bothered about whether I am doing justice to how many of our students who are listening. If there are 10 students, I should give justice to these 10 students because you are investing your time in listening and learning. If there is only one student, I really don't mind. I will take it for one student also. If there are hundreds of students, absolutely fine. Let all hundreds learn and make it begin their life in solving aptitude problems. It's completely up to you. It's completely up to you. Rahul. How to know whether to use variables or ratios? Now, in this question, how can you, where, where is the possibility of using ratios in this question, Rahul? There is not much possibility of using ratios. So basically, if, you, if I want to answer your question, the more practice you make, the more you will realize you will solve by using variables. But always remember, 95% of the questions in time and verse can be solved by using ratios without using variables or fractions. And I have taken 4 sessions without using variables. 4 sessions I have taken without using variables. It's not the only one session I am taking. 4 sessions I am taking. I have taken already. And this session also there are so many questions what I am taking are without using variables itself. Only some 5 to 6 questions are with variables. So. Always try to solve the questions without using variables. If it is not at all possible, switch on to variable method. I hope Rahul, I have answered your question. Now see here. Now see this question. In the question itself, there is variable. So can you, can you escape from that variable? No, you cannot. Because in the question itself, they have given some variable. So this question should be solved by using variable itself. What is the question? 15 men can do a piece of work in X days. Now, can I say that 15 men, one man will do M units per day. 15 men will do 15 M units per day. And they can do some piece of work in how many days? X days. This will lead to the completion of the work. Okay. 21 women can do a piece of work in X minus 4 days. One woman can work for W units per day. That means capacity of one woman is W units per day. 
21 women is 21 into W and they can complete the work in X minus 4 days. This is nothing but work. This is also work. So both are equal. Next. 35 men can do the same piece of work in Y days. 35 men. It is 35 into small m. They will do the piece of work in Y days. 63 women can do the same piece of work in Y minus 4 days. 63 women that is W can do the same piece of work in Y minus 4 days. All of them are completing the work and that is the reason all of them are equated in this question. Right? All of them are equated. Now, if I take, if I take these two equations, M and M will cancel out. 15x is equal to 35y. Let me write it. 15x is equal to 35y. 15 is 5 into 3, 35 is 5 into 7. So, x divided by y ratio is nothing but x divided by y ratio is 7 divided by 3. I came to know the value of x by y. Similarly, let me use a different color. Similarly, if I compare these two, if I compare these two, w and w will cancel 21 into 1, 21 into 3. So, Right, left hand side here only x minus 4 is left out. Right hand side here is 3 into y minus 4 which is 3y minus 12. Right which is 3 3y minus 12. So x is equal to 3y minus 12 minus 12 plus 4 it is minus 8. So I can say it as 3y minus x is equal to plus 8. And if you want, what is the question? Find the value of x. That means you should eliminate y from here. You should eliminate y. So y will be equal to, we know that 3x is equal to 7y. So y will be equal to 3x divided by 7. So 3 into 3x divided by 7 is equal to minus x. x can be written as 7x by 7 is equal to 8. So 3x into 3 is 9x, 9x minus 7x is 2x, 2x is equal to 8 into 7 and 2 into 1, 2 into 4. So 4 into 7 is 28. x value is 28 which is option B. There is actually no dumb in this question. If you ask me honestly, the most easiest question. After solving so many questions from the last four sessions, after solving eight questions and this is the ninth question in today's session, this question should be considered as the most easiest question. The question involves variables. So you cannot escape from variables in this question. You need to solve it by variable method itself. So basically this question is the most easiest and it does not have too much of thinking in this question. Just a very very simple equation. You should keep on simplifying. You will eventually get the answer. Anyway, please comment in the live chat sir. Please comment in the live chat. Let me see whether it is clear for you or not. Kindly comment in the live chat. I am just looking into my mobile. Rahul says it's clear. So assuming that others are also clear. A can do as much work as B and C together can do. That means work done by A and work done by B and C together it is the same. A can do as much as work as B and C together can do. That's the question. So, work done by A is equal to work done by both B and C. Now, from this can I say that the efficiency ratio of efficiency ratio of A and B plus C it is 1 is to 1. Both are actually having the same capacity and that is the reason both have taken same number of days to complete the task. That's the meaning. Whatever capacity A is having, the same capacity B and C together are also having. That's the reason. How much of our days is taken by A, same number of days is taken by B and C also to complete the work. So, it's very clear and evident the ratio is 1 is to 1. Now, the next statement. 
ए एंड बी कैन टूगेदर डू ए पीस ऑफ वर्क इन नाइन अवर्स थर्टी सिक्स मिनट्स एंड सी कैन डू इट इन फोर्टी एट अवर्स दट मीन ए एंड बी कैन टूगेदर टूगेदर डू ए पीस ऑफ वर्क इन नाइन अवर्स थर्टी सिक्स मिनट्स सो थर्टी सिक्स मिनट्स इज थर्टी सिक्स बै सिक्सटी अवर्स थर्टी सिक्स बै सिक्सटी ट्वेल्व इंटू थ्री ट्वेल्व इंटू फाइव इट इज नईन थ्री बै फाइव अवर्स सो फाइव इंटू नईन इज फोर्टी फाइव प्लस थ्री फोर्टी एट बै फाइव अवर्स दट मीन ए एंड बी विल टेक फोर्टी एट बै फाइव अवर्स रेशियो वित् रेशियो वित् सी इज टेकिंग हाउ मेनी अवर्स क्वेश्चन से सी इज टेकिंग फोर्टी एट अवर्स टू कंप्लीट द टास्क नाउ दिस इज द टाइम रेशियो विच इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन थिंक लॉजिकली टाइम रेशियो इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन एंड वी नो दट efficiency is always inversely proportional to time how is it if i have more efficiency if my capacity is more i will take lesser time to complete the task if my capacity is less i will take too much of time more time to complete the task so they are inversely proportional that means time ratio is given as 48 by 5 is to 48 Which is nothing but one by five is to one, right? Forty-eight cancels. But I want to convert it to efficiency ratio. A plus B ratio with C efficiency is one by five is to one will become ulta. It becomes one is to one by five. One is to one by five is nothing but how much? It is five by one, right? It is nothing but five by one. Very simple, right? Time ratio is given. Calculate the reverse of it. You will get the efficiency ratio. But think a little logically i always want you people to logically think so that you will get the answer fast according to the first ratio a plus b plus c is 1 plus 1 2 units according to the second ratio a plus b plus c here also it is a plus b plus c here also it is a plus b plus c but here a plus b plus c is 2 units but here a plus b plus c is 6 units how can that be possible can it be like that no everywhere a plus b plus c should be same so make this 2 as 6 make this 6 also as 6 6 is already 6 don't worry about it 2 into 3 is 6 so basically instead of taking it as 1 is to 1 it's better that i take it as 3 is to 3 1 into 3 is 3 1 into 3 is 3 that means as per the first ratio it is 3 is to 3 as per the second ratio it is 5 is to 1 so Total sum according to first ratio is three plus three six. Total sum according to second ratio is also five plus one six. Both are eventually giving the same value, so it is six. So can I say that if I want to find a, b, and c individual efficiency, c a value, a efficiency is nothing but three directly given here. So I will write it as three. C efficiency is it is given in the question here as one. So C efficiency is one, and all the three people together efficiency is how much? It is six. Already four is over. So B should be remaining two. So it is three plus two is only three plus two plus one is only six. So we know the individual capacity is right now. The question says find the time taken by B if he is working alone. If B is working alone, how many time? How much time he is taking is the question. But before that. If we want to find B value, we should know how much is the total work. Now, it is also given in the question. C can do the entire work if he is working alone in forty-eight hours. To complete one entire work, C will take forty-eight hours. And C's capacity is in one unit he will distribute only one chocolate. In one unit he will distribute one chocolate. But he has worked totally for forty-eight hours. One unit it is one chocolate. Sorry, one hour it is one chocolate. In forty-eight hours it will be forty-eight chocolate. That means total work that is completed if C is working alone is forty-eight units, and that will be the total work. In the in fact the question is asking for B alone. Forty-eight. B's capacity is two units per day. In one day he will distribute two chocolates to complete forty-eight chocolates. He will take twenty-four days because two into twenty-four is only forty-eight, or forty-eight divided by two is twenty-four. Answer for this question is how much? Twenty-four days. Quick comment, sir. Please kindly quickly comment in the live chat. Quickly comment in the live chat. I am just trying to take as many varieties as possible. As many varieties as possible, I am trying to take. Quickly comment in the live chat. Okay. 
okay looks like not many are commenting okay that's okay no problem okay. this question we will do it after some time now see this question two men can break mountains of same size that means there are two mountains first mountain and second mountain they are of same size and two men can break it in 5 hours and 8 hours respectively so let us take those two people as a and b for example a will finish off breaking the mountain in 5 hours b will finish off breaking the mountain in 8 hours so 5 and 8 so the size of two mountains is 40 units each i will assume the size of two mountains as 40 units each 5 into 8 is 40 8 into 5 is 40 so we know the capacity of a and b individually now what is the next statement both started working together so both a and b are working together they are happily working after how much time the size of first mountain will be 40 percentage less than the second mountain now see here think logically first mountain is also 40 units second mountain is also 40 units or for example in first box there are 40 chocolates in second box also there are 40 chocolates now there is a person called as a suppose i am a i am only working in the first box suppose you are b you are only working to distribute the chocolates which are present in the second box now my capacity is 8 units per day so from the first box, I will pick up 8 chocolates, I will distribute in entire day. Your capacity is 5 units per day. From the second box, you will pick up 5 chocolates and you will distribute entire 5 chocolates in a day. In case, assume that, assume that, in case my efficiency and your efficiency are same, for example, in case, in this question, it's not same. In this question, my efficiency is 8 units per day, your efficiency is 5 units per day. Suppose if it is the same, suppose my all, mine also is 8 units per day, yours also is 8 units per day, then there is no point of 40 percentage less than the second mountain all those things because both of us are working for same units per day, both of them will be completing exactly at the same time how many of our chocolates we are distributing. But one person is having more efficiency compared to the other person in this question. So that is the reason question says after how much time the size of the first mountain will be 40 percentage less than the second mountain now see here 40 percentage is nothing but 2 by 5 size of the first mountain is 2 by 5 less than the second mountain less is nothing but a decrease that means if i take the ratio the size of first mountain size of first mountain i am writing all these things just for your explanation and understanding you don't need to write all these things in the exam divided by size of second mountain right size of first mountain divided by size of second mountain now suppose suppose if the second mountain is five units if the second mountain is five units then first mountain will be two lesser than five units how much is two less than five 2 less than 5 will be 3 units that means the ratio between the sizes of first and second mountain should be 3 is to 5 after how much time the ratio between the first and second mountain will be sizes will be 3 is to 5 with the question indirectly now see here the best way to solve this question is by answer options first option is 3 hours and 12 minutes right 3 hours and 12 minutes now think little logically i will solve very very clearly now size of first mountain first mountain initially the first mountain was 40 units right initially the first mountain was 40 units now assume that i am a i took an axe or whatever it is i kept on breaking the mountain right i kept on breaking the mountain it is given that in one hour i will break eight units but in the first option is three hours in one hour it is eight units in three hours i will break 24 units but the question will not just stop at three hours in the first option it is three hours and 12 minutes 12 minutes is one by five hours so can i say that 
in 1 hour i will distribute 8 units in 1 by 5 hours 1 into 1 by 5 is 1 by 5 8 into 1 by 5 is it is 8 by 5 so i will also distribute another 8 by 5 units 8 by 5 units can be written as 5 by 5 which is 1 minus 3 by 5 units 5 by 5 minus 3 by 5 5 by 5 is nothing but 1 1 minus 3 by, minus 1 minus 3 by 5 is minus 8 by 5 only now this is nothing but the size of first mountain in 3 hours 12 minutes size of second mountain initially it is 40 in 1 hour second mountain second person will distribute 3 5 units in 3 hours it is 15 units similarly in 1 hour second person will distribute 5 units 12 minutes is nothing but 1 by 5 hours in 1 by 5 hours 1 into 1 by 5 is 1 by 5 5 into 1 by 5 is he will distribute 1 unit that means he will distribute another 1 unit so simplify this and check whether you are getting 3 by 5 on the right hand side if you are getting 3 by 5 on the right hand side my first option is correct not getting move to the second option again not getting move to the third option once again not getting move to the fourth option like that you should actually simplify it now if i simplify 40 minus 25 is 15 right it is 15 15 minus 3 by 5 15 minus 3 by 5 is what i got here divided by 40 minus 16 is nothing but 24 50 minus 3 by 5 if i take the lcm so 5 is the lcm there so that 5 will come below anyway 15 into 5 is 75 minus 3 72 it is 72 by 5 multiply by 24 in the denominator 24 into 1 24 into 3 you are getting it as 3 by 5 which is what is actually given in the question therefore my first option is the right answer answer for this question should be first option like that in case you are not getting in the first option as 3 by 5 move on to the second option move on to the third option like that you should keep doing by answer option i hope the clarity is very very there very much there for you people quickly comment in the live chat quickly comment in the live chat sir next a takes four hours to plug as much field as b in three hours that means if a is taking four hours b is taking three hours so this is the time ratio but we are not interested in time let us quickly convert it to efficiency ratio so time ratio is four is to three efficiency ratio will be reverse of four is to three which is three is to four okay next while c takes six hours to plug as much as b in five hours so b and c time ratio of b and c b will take five hours c will take six hours this is the time ratio Similarly, efficiency ratio will be how much? 6 is to 5, right? It is 6 is to 5. Now, think logically once again. Here, B capacity is 4 units per day. Here, B capacity is 6 units per day. The same person B, can he be also be having 4 units per day as capacity and the same person can he be having 6 units per day capacity? No. It's something like, I am the same person Ajay and my age right now is 30 and at the same time my age is 45 also. Can it be possible? Absolutely no, right? The same person cannot have two different ages at the same time. Same like that. The same person cannot have two different efficiencies at the same time. So, make it as same efficiency. 4 and 6. LCM is 12. 4 should become 12 multiply by 3 6 should become 12 multiply by 2 that means 3 into 3 is 9 4 into 3 is 12 similarly 6 into 2 is 12 5 into 2 is 10 that means the same person b is having the same efficiency in both the cases that means a's capacity is 9 units per hour or days yes it is hour b's capacity is 12 units per hour and c's capacity is 10 units per hour which is very very clear from the ratio what we have written now what is the next statement so forget about next statement from this i can say that if all the three are working 9 plus 12 is 21 21 plus 10 is 31 all three people is 31 units per hour is the total capacity okay 
they all can plug a field in 44 hours working together that means when all three people are working together in one hour they will distribute 31 chocolates in one hour they will distribute 31 chocolates but they are working together for 44 hours in one hour 31 for 44 it is 44 into 31 that means total work is nothing but 31 into 44 so we came to know what is the total work in this question what is your question in what time b and c together can plug the field b plus c together is 12 plus 10 it is 22 units per hour that means in one hour they will distribute 22 chocolates but totally there are not only 22 chocolates there are 31 into 44 chocolates totally in the box 22 into 2 is 44 and 22 is there but 31 should be there so multiply by 31 so basically you should multiply by 2 into 31 on both sides which is 62 answer for this beautiful question is 62 hours which is option c next question a and b can together complete a task in 18 days now see here they are starting the work here they kept on doing the work they will complete the work here so if only a and b are working if both a and b are working together there there is no separation between a and b then they would have complete that the task in 18 days ideally but after 6 hours a leaves so it is not 18 days it is 18 hours so it, it really does not matter whether it is days or hours in the question don't worry too much about that after 6 hours a left the work so that means a is working only for 6 hours out of this 18 hours in this duration of 6 hours only he is working so in this duration of 6 hours they both work together and a is no more interested to work right a is no more interested to work b takes 36 hours to finish the rest of the task so a left after 6 hours so basically this portion is the remaining task right now right this portion is the remaining task right now now think logically suppose if a had not left the work suppose if a had not left the work if a did not leave the work to complete this remaining work they both would have taken another 12 hours only right because already out of 18 hours 6 hours they worked if they had worked for another 12 hours if both a and b had worked for another 12 hours by little bit of sympathy they showed little bit of sympathy on the owner and they both only continued for another 12 hours then the remaining work would have been completed right this is the remaining work but unfortunately a had too much of fight with his owner right a had too much of fight so he is not even ready to show that sympathy he definitely want to leave and in this remaining work whatever is left that will be taken taken only by b but unfortunately to complete the remaining work now b is not having the support of a b is working alone so b cannot complete that work alone in just 12 hours only question says b takes 36 hours to finish the remaining task so remaining task will be distributed or completed by b alone in 36 days or hours right so this is also remaining work that's the reason i have equated so 12 into 3 is 36 so left hand side is a plus b right hand side is 3b so a is equal to 2b right a is equal to 2b or a divided by b is 2 divided by 1 a is to b is 2 is to 1 so that means from the ratio we can say that a's capacity is 2 units per day b's capacity is 1 unit per day now see here think again logically can i say that can i say that b's capacity is B's capacity is one unit per day. A's capacity is two units per day, and it is given in the question that if A and B only had worked, they would have completed the work in 18 hours. When A and B are working, 
together their capacity is 3 units. So, in 1 hour they will distribute 3 units. To complete all the units, they will work for 18 hours. That means, total work is nothing but 3 into 18, which is 54 chocolates are there in the box. What is the question? How many hours would A have taken to do the task? if he had worked alone. So, A's capacity is 2 units per day to complete 54. 2 into which number is 54? 2 into 27 is only 54. Answer for this question is how much? It is 27. Always remember, you should know how to create this equation of remaining work. This creating the equation is one of the most easiest thing. In fact, if you know the concept, what I have told you just now. It's so simple. If A and B themselves only had worked, they would have just worked for another 12 more hours, they would have completed the work. So that's the reason I wrote it as 12 into A plus B for the remaining work. But A left B the only lone warrior who is actually waging this war and B takes 36 hours to finish the rest of the task. So it is equal to 36 B. So simple you can analyze it. Quickly comment in the live chat. I think King Slayer has some small doubt. I, I don't know which question it was. Rahul also says once repeats near the ratio part. I am not getting it which question. Anyway, no issues. Once you understand the next few questions, you will understand the you will yourself clarify the doubts whatever you had earlier. So do not worry about that. But for the question whatever we have solved just now, please comment in the live chat. Please comment in the live chat. Anyone who is willing to comment or I think I should really stop asking from no one. I don't know. It's a habit for me. King Slayer. A 8 hours, B 5 hours. What's the doubt here, sir? What's the doubt here? Near the ratio part, what is the doubt you are having? See. It says that the size of first mountain will become 40 percentage less than the size of second mountain. 40 percentage is 2 by 5. That means if the second mountain is 5 units, first mountain will become 2 less than 5. 2 less than 5 is 3 units. That means at what time the sizes of two mountains will be in the ratio 3 is to 5. That's what we need to find. So find out from the answer options. 3 hours, 24, 12 minutes, 2 hours, 24 minutes, 3 hours, 48 minutes, like that. Yes, near ratio is only what I explained King Slayer right now. Shahil, sir, can you please time take time, speed and distance after you complete time and work? I think I have taken so many classes on time, speed and distance already. So probably I might take few questions or few beautiful questions in time's problems after time and work. But having said that, Entire time speed and distance I might not be able to cover because I have already covered. In fact, I have recorded very, very good number of questions in time speed and distance already covering multiple models. So I might take trines in time speed and distance. King clear. Is the doubt cleared? Whatever I have explained. Once again, I have explained to you. It's very important for me to know whether it is clear or not from my students. Beautiful. He says, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Beautiful. I hope it's clear. Next question. Now, very, very important variety of question, but it's not a difficult question. It's an easy variety of question. In fact, now see here. In a fold, there was sufficient food for 760 soldiers for 44 days. One minute. Yes. 
Now see this question. Question says, in a fort, there was sufficient food for 760 soldiers for 44 days. That means, there are totally 760 soldiers initially and for these 760 soldiers, there was sufficient food for 44 days. That means, they can have 100% of food. They can have 100% of food for all the 44 days. No risk at all, no need of actually thinking that I am still hungry, but there is no food available. Sufficient food is available for the 760 soldiers for the first 44 days. So that means if I put it in a diagrammatic format, suppose for example, there are totally 760 soldiers. Let me just write it like this. 760 soldiers are there and they are having sufficient food for 44 days, right? 44 days. Now, can I say that? Suppose, let us let me try to make it so simple, as easy as possible. So, every soldier on a day, on a particular day, he will eat 1 kg of food, right? Every soldier will eat 1 kg of food daily. If I assume like that, sir, why only one? Why cannot he eat 2 kgs? So, I am just restricting to 1 kg because 1 is an easy number to multiply with any other number. In the previous one of the question, I already explained this concept. So, I am assuming that 1 kg of food is eaten by 1 soldier every day. That means 760 soldiers in 44 days, they will eat how much? They will eat 760 into 44 units. So, this is the total amount of work or the food which is present initially. I am repeating again. One soldier will eat 1 kg per day. For one day, it is 1 kg for one soldier. Forget about 44 days. For 760 soldiers, in one day, it will be 760 kgs of food is completed. 760 kgs of food is completed for one day. But it is given in the question as 44 days. For one day, it is 760 kgs of food. For 44 days, total amount of work or total kgs of food which is present is 760 into 44 kgs of food is present initially. So, that is the total amount of work or the total number of chocolates which are present. However, the way you want to take. Now, read the next statement. After 31 days, 240 soldiers left the fort. Now, after 31 days, that means the 760 soldiers were working like this, but they worked only for 31 days, right? They worked only for 31 days. Now, again, let us cal calculate it in the diagram itself. One soldier will eat 1 kg. 760 soldiers will eat 760 into 1 kg. And that is for one day. For 31 days, it is into 31. So, in these 31 days, 760 into 31 units of work is completed. And remaining is... Out of total 760 into 44, 760 into 31 is done. 760 into another 13 is remaining right now. Right? Another 13 is remaining right now. I hope you are understanding very, very clearly. For how many extra days will the rest of the food last? Rest of the food is nothing but 760 into 13 for the remaining soldiers. Now, out of 760 soldiers, 240 soldiers left the work, right? 240, 240 soldiers left the work. Now, think logically once again. Out of 760 soldiers, 240 soldiers left the work. Only 520 soldiers are remaining right now, right? Only 520 soldiers are remaining right now. Soldiers reduced from 760 to 520. So, soldiers reduced from 760 to 520. Now, Think again logically, if these 760 soldiers were only there for the last portion also, assume that 760 soldiers only were there from starting till the end. That means 240 soldiers did not leave, assume like that. So they would have completed it in total of 44 days. That means whatever this food is remaining in the next 13 days of 760 people. So, remaining food is another 13 days. 44 minus 31 is 13 days. Another 13 days of food is left over. 
of this 760 people. So, 760 into 1 kg per day into 13 days. So, this is the remaining food which is left out. But, this remaining food, whatever is left out, whom should complete right now? This 520 soldiers, soldiers should complete. 520 soldiers will eat 520 kgs in one day and they will do it for how many days that we don't know that is the question how many extra days that means they will do it for d number of days for example now again logically thinking if there were 760 soldiers the work would have been completed in another 13 days itself but there are only 520 soldiers not 760 are there only 520 that means the number of soldiers has reduced that means the number of days to complete is not 13 it will be greater than 13 answer cannot be 6 answer cannot be 13 it should be greater than 13 two options are eliminated but anyway you can easily calculate one zero will cancel here 13 into 1 13 into 4 4 into 1 4 into 19 so answer is d is equal to 19 days a very very beautiful question which can be solved so easily one last time i'm repeating this question so fast there are initially 760 soldiers they will take 44 days to complete the entire work and the entire working 760 into 44 but they worked only for 31 days so 31 760 into 31 is completed so remaining 760 into 13 should have been completed by them only that much of food is actually remaining right now in the bucket. There is a bowl or a bucket or whatever you call it. In that bucket, 760 into 13 kgs of food is remaining. And that food will be eaten right now by how many people? Only 520 people will be eating that food of remaining 760 into 13 units. And they will be taking D days to complete that work. D is equal to 19 if you simplify. Quickly comment in the live chat. This remaining food, all those things, we will take some three to four questions of this sort itself so that you will understand it so easily, you can solve it so fast. There are many students who actually will get confused with this kind of questions, but I think that now the question is very clear for people who are listening. Next, there is sufficient food for 2400 soldiers for 60 days. Okay, let us think like that. So, actually, if 2400 soldiers are there, they will be taking or working for 60 days, they will be having 60 days of food. So, that means the same logic in this question also. Every one soldier will eat 1 kg per day. So, total work is nothing but one soldier will eat 1 kg. 2400 soldiers will eat 2400 kgs for one day and for 60 days it is into 60 so this will be the total work right i hope you are understanding how to find the total work initially now and each so oh, okay you don't need to assume in this question the beauty about this question is that they themselves have given in the question that they are not eating one kg if nothing is mentioned we can assume anything in fact but in this question they have given clearly given that they eat 750 grams every day so total work is nothing but so 2400 into 60 into 750 grams right it is 750 grams okay let it let us not make it complicated let me uh, try to what do you say like erase this and let me explain you in an easy way now see here There is sufficient food for 2400 soldiers for 60 days and each soldier eats 750 grams every day. Now, in the previous question, nothing was given. We assumed every soldier will eat 1 kg per day. But in this question, it is given that each soldier will eat 750 grams every day. So, the total work, if they themselves have 2400 soldiers only were there from starting till the end. They would have actually completed the entire food in how many days? 60 days, right? They would have completed in 60 days. But unfortunately, after 43 days, 900 soldiers left the camp. So, the first 43 days only, all the 2400 people worked together. 
first 43 days all 2400 people left work together and the last 17 days they did not work out of 2400 only uh, out of 2400 900 left that means only 1500 soldiers only worked for the last 17 days now think a little logically one more time if that 900 students had not left the camp if they had not left this is the remaining food which is left out right this is the remaining food now this remaining food whatever is left out so 2400 soldiers would have eaten that remaining food in fact and every soldier would have eaten for 50, 750 grams and it is for 17 days this is the remaining food actually right this is the remaining food actually but this remaining food is not eaten by 2400 right now but it is eaten by 900 soldiers less than 2400 now read the next statement now for how many days rest of the food lasted for the rest of the soldiers if each ate 850 grams food every day now now there are only 1500 soldiers which are present now there are no 2400 soldiers which are present only 1500 soldiers are working right now and because only 1500 are working there is so much of food which is left out earlier because the 2400 soldiers were there they were distributing equally as 750 grams now only 1500 soldiers are there they have sufficient food left out right now how much is left out this much of food is left out right now and because of that they can eat a little more extra also so they started eating for 850 grams every day so remaining 1500 people ate 850 grams every day and they ate it for d number of days question is find the value of d this also is nothing but the remaining food which is got completed by these people so d is what you need to calculate zeros cancel here also zeros cancel this zero is also cancelled so further simplifying we can say that 17 into 5 is 85 17 into 5 is 85 so 15 into 5 is 75 75 cancels with 75 d is equal to 24 answer for this question is 24 days beautiful understanding you don't need a variable to solve these kind of questions you can solve it so simple so easily and these are the kind of questions that you will be getting in your mains exams and prelims exams very frequently they will keep on giving these kind of questions Please pay a little more extra attention and it's not a difficult question. It's so fast you can solve it so easily. Next question. Slightly changed compared to the previous question. There is sufficient food for 4000 soldiers for 40 days. And each soldier eats 1250 grams of food daily after 22 days. That means actually 4000 soldiers were there. And if 4,000 soldiers were there, they would have taken 40 days to complete the entire food. But after 22 days, after the first 22 days, 1,600 soldiers left the camp. Right? 1,600 soldiers left the camp. That means remaining 18 days of food is left out. Remaining 18 days of food is left out. And these remaining 18 days of food is left out for how many soldiers? 4,000 soldiers, 18 days food is left out. So, 4,000 soldiers, every person's 18 days food is left out. And earlier, every person would have consumed 1,250 grams every day. So, this much of food is left out right now. But, you should not waste that food. You should ask some other people to finish that food. That is what we are discussing right now. And 1600 soldiers left out of 4,600 left. So remaining is 2,400. So 2,000 remaining 2,400 remaining soldiers continue to eat. And question says some new soldiers also joined the camp where each new soldier eats 1,000 gram daily. So whatever the 2400 old employees or the old soldiers were there they are still eating 1250 grams only they are not actually compromising whatever it is they wanted to eat 1250 they are still continuing to eat 1250 but with this 2400 
there are some x number of new soldiers who joined we don't know how many new soldiers joined actually x number of new soldiers joined and these x people will eat 1000 grams daily right 1000 gram daily but think logically 2400 remaining soldiers multiplied with every day 1250 this is for a one day scenario x new soldiers every day 1000 gram this is again for a one day scenario but what is the question now the whole food lasted for 37 days that means 22 days are already completed and the work will now get over in 37 days itself that means the remaining food was eaten by these many people in another 15 days so never ever forget to multiply by that 15 otherwise you will get an incorrect answer so 15 multiplied by all these things in the right hand side i hope you are understanding now it's completely up to simplification nothing else so can i say that these three zeros will actually cancel with these three zeros here and these three zeros here so right hand side okay let me write in the next screen so 4 into 18 into 1250 4 into 18 into 1250 this is left hand side right hand side is 15 multiplied with 15 multiplied with what else is there 24 into 125 24 into 125 24 into 125 plus x into 1 right plus x into 1 now if i simplify so 15 so 15 what what else i can simplify 3 into 5 is 15 3 into 6 is 18 and 5 into 25 is 125 5 into 250 is 1250 so similarly so this is 6 into 4 is 24 or 250 into 4 is 1000 1000 into 6 is 6000 left hand side is 6000 right hand side is 24 into 125 now forget about 24 into 125 125 into 20 125 into 20 is how much 125 into 2 is 250 125 into 20 is 2500 right and 125 into 4 it is nothing but 500 so 2500 plus 500 is it is 3000 right it is 3000 so 3000 plus x so x is nothing but 6000 minus 3000 which is 3000 but what is the actual question find the number of soldiers who joined the camp the number of soldiers who joined the camp is nothing but x that is what we got here as 3000 so in this question i solved by using variables sir no sir i don't want to use variables can by solve can i solve by answer option absolutely in place of x you substitute 2500 or 3000 or 4000 or 2750 check out whether left hand side is matching with right hand side the easiest way to check out is not by multiplying everything and wasting time the easiest way to in fact check is through dig digital sum concept i think that many concept that that concept is already thought with many questions in time and work by anil nair sir so that is the reason i just simplified it rather than using digital sum in this problem kindly comment sir kindly comment exactly two hours the time we started the class please quickly comment the more quickly you comment the more quickly i will also take the problems and finish off the problems there are sufficient food for certain number of soldiers for a certain number of days now in all the previous questions it was given how many soldiers and for how many days but in this question they are saying certain number of soldiers for certain number of days so we don't know how many soldiers and how many days initially now after 25 days after 25 days 62.5 soldiers left the camp and the rest of the food will last for 10 days more than the expected days right 10 days more than the expected days now see here suppose initially assume that it was taking d days to complete the entire food right because it is not given in the question it says certain number of days so that certain number of days i have taken it as d days after 25 days that means first 25 days they all worked together how many of our soldiers were there they worked together in fact they ate together in fact 62.5 percentage of soldiers left now 62.5 percentage is nothing but 5 by 8 these are all some values that you should know which we have already thought in percentage class so beautifully so can i say that out of 25 out of d days 
25 days is already done. Remaining number of days is D minus 25. Right? Remaining days is D minus 25. And out of it, the question also says 5 by 8 people left the camp. 5 by 8 people left the camp. That means if there are 8 people working initially, if there were 8 soldiers eating initially, out of that 8 soldiers, 3 soldiers left. Right? 3 soldiers left. And because the 3 soldiers left, the remaining food will last for 10 days more than the expected days. That means earlier it was totally D days and the remaining was actually getting completed in D minus 25. But because 3 out of 8 left, 3 sorry, 5 out of 8 left and only 3 are there right now, it take 10 days more, right? It takes 10 days more for entire food to be completed. So, think logically once again. How much food is remaining? Can I say that? Can I say that? So, D minus 25 days, that, mean, that many days of food is remaining. And initially, 8 people were working. So, 8 into D minus 25 days. That many food is remaining actually in the table. But this food will be completed by how many people? This food will be completed by 5 less than 8. That means only 3 people will be completing that. And for that they are taking a total of D minus 25 plus extra 10 days. D minus 15 days will be taken by these 3 people to complete the remaining food. Both are remaining food. Left hand side and right hand side separate. What do you say? Like simplify. 8D minus 200 is equal to is equal to 3D minus 45. So 8D minus 3D is nothing but 5D is equal to 200 minus 45 is nothing but 155. So D value will be 155 by 5. It is 31. Answer for this question is 31. I hope you are very very clear with the four questions what we have solved where the food is remaining. Food remaining kind of questions, four questions we have solved and all the four questions are little little different from each other. I hope you have caught that what is the difference between each and every question. Quickly comment, quickly comment sir. Quickly comment in the live chat. Next question. Very, very good question. Very, very good question. Listen to this carefully. Question says, in the beginning, that means at start, right? Starting, he was like this. Later on, he became like this. Is the kind of question. In the beginning, Rohan works at the rate such that he can finish a piece of work in 32 hours. So, he is working in such a way that he can actually finish the, some, some work in 32 hours itself. But, he only works at this rate for first 26 hours. At that particular rate, he is working for only first 26 hours. That's the meaning. After that, that means it's a later scenario, beginning scenario and some days later he changed actually. He works at a rate such that he can do the whole work in 24 hours itself. He can do the whole work in 24 hours itself. If Rohan is to finish this work at a stretch, how many hours will it take to finish this work? Now see here, simple way of solving. LCM of, there are two numbers, 24 and 32, 32 hours and 24 hours is given. LCM of L 24 and 30, sorry not 36, it is 32, it is 96 units. So 96 chocolate needs to be distributed. That means in the beginning, Totally, there are 96 chocolates which are present in the box in the beginning. And Rohan is working at a such a rate that he can finish that piece of work in 32 hours itself. So, to distribute 96 chocolates, he will only take 32 hours. 96 by 32 is 3 units per hour. That means, his, his capacity is... In one hour, he can distribute three chocolates. That is the capacity of Rohan at the beginning. But he is working like that 
only for 26 hours he is working like that only for 26 hours so in 1 hour he will distribute for 3 chocolates in 26 hours he will distribute 26 into 3 which is 78 chocolates out of 96 78 are done remaining is 18 chocolates right remaining is 18 chocolates now to distribute the remaining 18 chocolates he is no more interested in distributing like the previous rate he is no more interested like that he wants to increase his efficiency he is so passionate and he says that no 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 i cannot go at this pace here in one hour i cannot just complete three topics if i want to crack an aptitude exam i should improve i should make sure that in one hour i will make sure that i will complete some more topics that is the kind of passion he got it after working for 26 days or 26 hours so see that see the question after that so he is passionate right now after 26 hours he is passionate he works at a rate such that he can do the whole work in 24 hours itself that means to complete this 96 chocolates he was earlier taking 32 hours now he is working only for 24 hours and he can complete that 36 96 by 24 is 4 units per hour that means Earlier, he was only distributing three chocolates in one hour. Now, he can distribute four chocolates in one hour. And there are only 18 left out. In one hour, four to complete 18. It is 18 by four hours or it is nine by two hours. So, question says, total if he stretches out, how many hours he will take to finish the work? First 26 hours he worked and then he has worked for another 4 and a half hours. 26 hours plus 4 and a half hours is 30 and a half hours which is nothing but option A. Beautiful question, very very simple question in fact. I did not say it as a difficult question but it's a very very beautiful question in fact. Quick comment, can I expect a quick comment from my students so that I can move on to the next problem. Kindly comment quickly, sir. Next question. The daily work for five men is equal to four women or that of three children. So, whatever five men are working, that is equal to four women that is equal to three children right so i want to find the efficiency ratio of men is to women is to child right men is to women is to child now see here there is one concept a beautiful concept if you want to get the value of a men close men value that means don't see 5m right don't see 5m multiply the other coefficients 4 into 3 is how much 12 if you want to get a woman value, don't see 4w, multiply 5 and 3, it is 15. If you want to get a child, don't see 3c, multiply the other coefficients, 4 into 5 is 20. That means, we know the individual capacities of one man, one woman and one child, which is nothing but 12 units per day, 15 units per day and 20 units per day as of now. I hope till this point there is no doubt for any student. Now, the question says, by employing 10 men, 9 women and 12 children, work can be completed in 32 days. Now, one man can distribute 12 chocolates in a day. 10 men can distribute 12 into 10, 120 chocolates in a day. One woman can distribute 15 chocolates in a day. Nine women can distribute 15 into 9, 135 chocolates. One child can distribute 20 chocolates in a day. 12 children can distribute 20 into 12, 240 chocolates in a day. That means total capacity of work that is completed if 10 men, 9 women and 12 children are working is it is 120 plus 135 plus 240 units per day which if you calculate you will get it as 495 units per day right 495 units per day that means this 495 units per day is for one day in one day they can distribute 495 who can distribute 10 men 9 women and 12 children can distribute 495 in one day but 
they are saying the work will get completed in 32 days so total work is nothing but in one day it is 495 in 32 days it is 495 into 32 let us keep it as it is let us not multiply 495 into 32 so total work we got it as 495 into 32 okay read the next statement if it is required to finish in 24 days now i don't want 32 days of work that means i am a such i am such kind of a person who is thinking like this if there are 10 men working nine women working and 12 children working they are working and they are finishing the work in 32 days yaar but i cannot work for 32 days i cannot wait for that many days i want the work to be completed in 24 days itself let me appoint some people no problem let me give the money for extra people as of now 10 plus 9 19 19 plus 12 31 people are working which includes men, women and children. Instead of 31, let me take some more people into the company. But I don't want to wait for 32 days. It's a loss for me if I wait for so many days. I want that work to be completed in 24 days itself. I want it to be completed in 24 days. So, if it is required to finish in 24 days, as an additional labor, only women are available. So, I told you that, I am ready to hire some people into my company, but the people whom I hire should only be women. In this question, they are saying that they are restricting me to only hire women if it is required. How many of them will be required? So how many women will be required if the work which was happening in 32 days, it will happen now in only 24 days. If that has to ha happen, earlier only 9 women were there how many of them more will be required is the question i hope you are understanding now see here now see here work is starting here work is ending here totally it was 32 days right totally if that many people were only working it they were taking only 32 days but i want that work to be completed in only 24 days right i want that work to be completed in only 24 days so can i say that can i say that if it has to be completed in 24 days so the remaining eight days so first of all 24 days so can i say that 495 into 32 chocolates are there in the box this has to get over in 24 days 8 into 3 is 24, 8 into 4 is 32. 3 into 1, 3 into 165. That means if it is completed in 24 days, it is 165 into 4 units per day, which is nothing but 660 units per day, right? Which is nothing but 660 units per day. So, can I say that if it has to be completed in, if it has to be completed in 24 days, Earlier, we were distributing 495 chocolates per day. Earlier, we were distributing 495 chocolates per day. Uh, but now I want to complete it in 24 days itself. So, we will distribute 660 chocolates per day. That means, every day we will distribute 165 chocolates extra. 165 chocolates extra units per day we will be doing so that the work will get over in 24 days itself and think logically this 165 extra chocolates should be distributed by only women you cannot hire any other people and women's capacity is in one day they can distribute 15 to complete extra 165 they will take 11 days that means 11 more extra women are required and these 11 more extra women will only concentrate on distributing that 165 extra chocolates every day so that the work will get over in 24 days itself. How many of them are required is the question. Answer is 11. I hope the concept is very very clear for all the students who are listening to the class. Quickly comment sir. Quickly comment. I want you people to quickly comment. I am still waiting for your comments.
Next. A, B, C, D are four men. Okay. They are saying that there are four people. A, B, C, D. Okay. Let us read that statement. We read it. Okay. A can do a piece of work in 45 days that B can do in 64 days. Okay. The ratio of A and B is given in the question as 45 is to 64. But 45 days and 64 days are the time taken by A and B. But I don't want to use the time ratio. I want to use efficiency ratio. A is to be time ratio is 45 is to 64. Efficiency ratio will be 64 is to 45. Ulta, right? It will be reverse. Simple, simple. So it is 64 is to 45. Next. B is 25 percentage faster than C. That means B is 25 percent 1 by 4 faster than C. That means if B is taking or if B is distributing or if C is distributing four chocolates, right? If C is distributing four chocolates, let us take efficiency ratio itself directly. If C is distributing four chocolates, then B will be distributing. Efficiency of B will be one more than four. More is nothing but increase. One more than four is five chocolates. But we know that efficiency of B as per the question as 45 chocolates. Five into nine is 45. 4 also multiply by 9. 4 into 9 is 36. So we know C's capacity are also as 36 here. Now D is a pending. Let us check it out. Now time taken by C and D to do the same work is in the ratio of 25 is to 36. Now C is to D. Time ratio is given as 25 is to 36. This is time ratio. Efficiency ratio will be how much? Ulta. It will be 36 is to 25. So here also it is 36 for C. Here also it is 36 for C. So D will be 25. So in simple, forget about whatever I have written here. Forget about whatever I have written here on the right side. So we easily got the ratios of A, B, C, D in terms of efficiency as 64, 45, 36 and 25. Beautiful. So we have found out that data. Now question says a group of three people takes 44 percentage less time to do the same work than another group of two people. Find the group of three men is the question. Find the group of three men. Now see here. Let me use a different color ink. Now the question clearly says there is a group of three people. Right. There is a group of three people. These three people and there is a group of two people. Right. There is a group of two people. That means you might get confused. Sir, there are only totally four people. Right. Sir. How come three plus two five people are there? No, no, no. If this one person will also be helping the other group also. That's the meaning of it. Basically, that's the only meaning that you can consider here. That means I am one person who is actually in first group also and also helping the second group. That's the kind of scenario I'm trying to take here. That means can I say that this ratio, it is clearly given that 44 percentage less. 44 percentage is 44 by 100. 44 by 100 less. That means if two people group is taking 100 days to complete the task, if two people group is taking 100 days to complete the task, then three people group will take 44 days lesser than 100 days. That means they will take only 56 days to complete the task. 44. So this is nothing but 4 into 50. 14 is 56, 4 into 25 is 100. But unfortunately, this is time ratio, right? This is time ratio. But I do not like time ratio. Same thing I will convert it to efficiency ratio. Efficiency ratio of 3 people divided by 2 people will be 14 by 25 is the time ratio. 25 by 14, reverse of 14 by 25 will be the efficiency ratio. So, efficiency ratio is 25 by 14. Now, question says, find the group of three men. So, the three men can be ABD or ACD or BCD or ABC. Who among these three people will actually give this data 25 by 14 is the question. Now, see here. The best way to solve this question is by answer options. Okay. Let us go by first option. First option is our 360 degree Superman ABD. ABD if I consider. If I consider ABD. Now see here. Every time I should consider uh, like uh, go behind to the previous screen. ABD is 64 plus 36 is 100. 
sorry a b d right not c okay 64 plus 45 plus 25 so 64 plus 45 plus 25 so 64 plus 45 is how much it is 109 109 plus 25 is how much it is 134 right it is 134 but see here the three people should be in the form of 25 that means ideally you should choose three people in such a way that they will give you a multiple of 25 64 plus 45 plus 25 is 134 it is not a multiple of 25 so a b d cannot be the right answer if i go for the second option a c d a c d let me use a different color so that you will not get confused a e is 64 c is 36 100 100 plus d is 25 125 so this may be the possible answer right it may be the possible answer so first option is ruled out second option is a c d i am considering so you got it as 125 and you should choose the denominator as a two people group and this two people group should be such that it should be a multiple of 14 also now see which two people will give you a multiple of 14 a b is not giving a b is not giving b c b c is nothing but the 45 plus 36 right 40 sorry b c right uh, yes 45 plus 36 it's not multiply bd 45 plus 25 it is 70 so i will choose bd here so that it will be 70 that means this if you calculate this is nothing but how much it is 5 into 25 is 125 5 into so 14 is nothing but 70 it is 25 by 14 that is exactly what i got earlier also basically they are asking you which is the group of three men that three men group is a c d which is nothing but option b ideally you should solve this question by using answer options to get the answer faster please comment quickly sir please comment quickly Quickly comment in the live chat. Next question. A certain number of men can finish a piece of work in 108 days. So, there are some men. We don't know how many men are there. I'll call it as M. And they can finish the work in 108 days. Okay. If, however, there were 28 men less it would have taken another 24 days to finish the work. Now, instead of having M people, if there were 28 men less, so it is M minus 28, because the number of people are decreasing, earlier it was taking 108 days, now it would have taken 24 days more. It will be taking 132 days, right? It will be taking 132 days. How many men were there originally? That means M value you need to find out in this question you need to find out m value in this question now see here the best way to solve this question is by using a digital sum concept and by answer options 108 is a digital sum 1 plus 8 9 and in digital sum class i have explained you very clearly or anil sir would have explained very clearly digital sum of 108 is 9 9 multiplied by any number 9 multiplied by anything digital sum will always be 9 that means left hand side digital sum is 9 left hand side digital sum is 9 right hand side digital sum should also be 9 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 2 6 this is giving you digital sum 6 multiplied with 2 plus 8 10 10 digital sum is 1 plus 0 1 minus something right minus m value is something so think logically 6 into 3 6 into 3 will give you the digital sum right 6 into 3 will give you the digital sum or can i say that if this m value happens to be 1 digital sum 9 or digital sum 0 in digital sum 9 and 0 both are absolutely same that means 6 multiplied by 0 is nothing but 0 so digital sum will be 0 that means this entire thing has to become 0 for that m value should have the digital sum as 1 1 minus 1 is only 0 right check it out 140 digital sum is not 1 154 is not 1 168 is not 168 is it happening 
I think 154 is one. Sorry, I made a mistake there. 154 digital sum itself is one. 168, in fact, is not one. Let me erase here, which I made a mistake here. Yes, 154 digital sum is one itself. I think I went to a different screen, sir. Just give me a second. Yes, I'm so sorry. Yes, sir. So 154 digital sum is 1, it may be the right answer, 168 not 1, 112 is also not 1. So answer for this question is 158. You can actually check it by substituting and simplifying everything, you can do it, but it's a waste of time, the beautiful concept is digital sum, where 9 and 0 both are same in digital sum concept. Next question. 20 workers can finish a piece of work in 30 days. So if 20 people are working, they will take 30 days and this will lead to the completion of the work. Okay. After how many days should 5 workers leave the job so that the work is completed in 35 days? Now, this is the total work. 20 people will finish the work in 30 days. Totally, there are 600 chocolates. After how many days? Five workers should leave the job so that the work is completed in 35 days. Now see here. Now see here. If I go by answer options, first option is after how many days should five workers leave? After first option is five days. After five days. That means initially they are working for 20 days and these 20 days, these 20 days, five workers will leave the job. Right? So it is 20 into 5. Now can I say that? Totally, the 20 men, they were working for 5 days, initially first 5 days according to first option and after these 5 days, 5 workers left, only 15 are there. But question says totally the work will now get completed in 35 days. 5 days are completed initially, remaining 30 days. So this should give you 300, sorry 600. Think logically and check it out. This is 450 plus 100. It is 550 not equal to 600. First option cannot be the right answer. Second option, if I take 10 days, if I take 10 days, that means First 20 workers will work for the first 10 days. 20 workers will work for the first 10 days. After 10 days, 5 people left. That means 20 people became 15 people and they will work for totally 35 days totally. So 10 days are over, remaining 25 days. So this is an even number. This is an odd number. So it can never be equal to 600 if you add it, right? It can never be equal to 600. So first and second options are ruled out. Check out with the third option. Third option is they should, five people should leave after 15 days. That means first 20 workers will work for first 15 days and then five people left. Now only 15 people are working. Total number of days is 35 days. So 15 already done, another 20 days. 300 plus 300, it is equal to 600, which is nothing but the total work according to our question. Answer for this question is option C. Easily you can solve some of the questions by using answer options and that too without using variables. King Slayer, any student who has not listened to digital sum concept, please go to YouTube. Just type digital sum by Anil Nair. Just type digital sum by Anil Nair. You will get the concept of digital sum and after that you can listen to the same problem once again so that you will understand it much more better. I am saying it repeatedly sir. There are approximately around 450 plus hours of 450 plus hours of power packed video content is present. This 450 plus hours of video content is more than sufficient for you people to crack some of the excellent exams like bank examinations, SSC examinations, there is a separate CAT package, there is a separate placement package, every possible variety of questions we would have discussed in these things so that you should not feel like you are seeing a new variety of question in the examination hall. When you sit in the examination hall, if you see a question, you should be so happy seeing that question and say, hey, wow, this question was taken by that person. Ajay, I think it's a very, very easy question. 
I think I can solve it in 10, 15 seconds. You should solve that in 15 seconds of time and you should move on to the next question so far. That's the kind of confidence you will get if you watch all the things. So interested person, I am repeatedly saying it is your career. It is completely in your hands whether to make it or break it. This is my personal number. My name is Ajay for the people who don't know. You can WhatsApp me to know a discounted offer price for all any of these packages, bank, SSC and all the YouTube classes, whatever we have taken from so many months, from the last three, four months or four, five months during the lockdown and other things, everything will be uploaded to the students so that you can sit in your home, learn at your convenient time whenever you think that you are free, right? Interested students can WhatsApp me to know the discounted prices and you can avail the discounted price which will be given very, very rarely by our finance department. I hope the two and a half hours of session, whatever I have taken. You have understood some excellent shortcuts in time and work. Thank you listen, for listening to the classes very patiently and have a very, very happy weekend. Sir. Thank you. I might take one more class today. I am not sure. If I take, I will definitely update you people from WhatsApp. Please be available and listen to that particular class also. Thank you, sir. I am signing off. Have a very, very happy weekend.